So developing tonight, a tea driver is recovering after he was attacked by a man dressed in a Halloween costume. Tea officials say the suspect then dragged the driver out of his trolley and beat him on the platform. WBZ Chante Lands is live along the red line in Dorchester. Chante. Katie and Ken, I spoke with the family today and they say that that trolley operator is recovering, resting tonight. He was pulled off of the train and beaten here on this platform. A typical trolley stop at the Cedar Grove station early Sunday morning in Dorchester quickly turned dangerous. An MBTA operator told police that he was attacked by a man who told him that he didn't have any money for his fare. He said the man then punched him in the head before pulling him off the trolley and onto the platform. The employee was then knocked unconscious. MBTA says the suspect was wearing a white Halloween mask and costume. Now that's a sad dimension, too, I guess. We, we love Halloween. John Boylan rides the trolley. Pretty tragic, I think. Yeah. Um, uh, and unfortunately, not so surprising, I guess. The suspect ran away as two trolley passengers, two female high school students, called for help. Governor Charlie Baker released a statement saying, quote, such a vicious and senseless violent act on a public employee is unconscionable and intolerable. And our thoughts and prayers are with the driver as he recovers. The employee, who has been with the T for 18 months, was treated and released from nearby Kearney Hospital. Residents respond to the attack. That's crazy. That's ridiculous. Like, the way this world is going, it shouldn't be like that for people in the world. You should be able to be safe everywhere you go. Why would you do that? I mean, that's just ridiculous. You don't have the money, so you go hurt people because you don't have the money? I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. And the MBTA really has not yet released any video. So far, no arrests. If you have any information, you're asked to contact police. For now, live in Dorchester, Shantae Lands, WBZ News.